What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor online. We are back inside the building for this one. Uh, we're jumping into a bit more of a dancehall-centric release on this next uh, video. The sounds of Shensia, who I'm a massive, massive fan of. She has just dropped a brand new single. It goes by the name Die For You. And what I'm actually looking to do with the channel a lot more this year is continue exploring other genres, other than than um, specifically Afrobeats. Obviously, that has been the core of the channel and we will continue to have that at the center. But there are other genres I do follow and there are other genres that I have a strong interest in. One, of course, being dancehall and the artists that are involved in that. So we are checking out this one from Shensia today. As always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, making sure you are leaving a like, leaving a comment and all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's jump into this one. Let's go. Russian on production then. Up in right now. Me I come make a link right now, right now. Yeah, me what's in a me draws right now. Yeah. Why we got me just drive out? Yeah, do we no key tight coming like say it feel brand new. Yeah. You think give me big deal whenever you drive through. Me now I nothing quick, me now I pass through. So immediately you can hear the the quality on the production side of things. Russian has become such a such a staple, I feel, in more sort of high I feel sort of high end dance or production. He's someone that really does push the boat out. And we know that him and Shinsia work really well together we've seen them on a numerous tracks um together i know they had that they had um the, the, they had hard drive i think it's called hard drive yeah hard drive with uh, conscience for me one of my favorite dancehall tunes ever um but yeah liking this so far very sort of smooth bass notation again shensia arriving with some really nice more sort of stripped back quite emotive sounding uh vocal patterns it's sounding good let's go <laughs> There's something so uh, so entertaining about the way that Shensia is able to obviously take the topics that she does, which are obviously quite X-rated topics a lot of the time. She's able to present them in such a kind of delicate way with the way that she performs vocally. I don't know how she's able to do it. Um because obviously it, it, we, we know what she's talking about but she does it in such a way where you're like you're finding yourself singing along to it not necessarily <laughs> realizing what you're saying um but yeah it's great to see and she got she's got such a a kind of skill set in doing that and it just works for her it's always been the way she approaches things it's always been the way she approaches her lyricism um all, all the way back to ludi she's been doing the similar sort of thing so yeah liking where it's going Anything you want, if you do. Uh. Yeah, that um that low end is sounding super smooth, man. I'm loving the the, the the production value on this is great, and I feel in general with Shensia releases at the moment, the production value tends to be through the roof, especially when it's Russian, because his uh I don't know, the clarity in a lot of his his drum work and bass work just really cuts through, especially when you've got a vocal as kind of clean as Shensia's, which often takes centre stage it does still take centre stage but the other elements are really kind of instantly recognisable um, liking where this is going let's go that's mad. The, the, the quoted uh, captions at the bottom are actually worse than, 
the version she's singing. I don't know whether they've put the lyrics from a different from a from a from a from a more explicit cut into the into the video. But yeah, that's uh, that's really funny to see. Uh, but yeah, man, you know what it is. It's Shen Sia. She brings a little bit of uh, something a, a bit more kind of expansive, shall we say, to the table with the lyric side of things. But it definitely works in the space, and it definitely works with her vocal approach as well. I think her vocal on this is clean. There's a lot of emotion somehow still wrapped up in it, and it works. I mean, even these little breaks here where we've got this much more kind of, uh, yeah, kind of spacious feel to it. Uh, there's a lot less sort of going on in the drum work. It sounds great. And I think just in general, this is where Russian really, really stands out. His overall compositional value is absolutely through the roof. Right. Let's let this one run through to the end and then we'll give it our final breakdown. Let's go. <laughs> there you go then. Santa Shensia, this one, uh, Die For You, directed by Rizzy. It's a good video as well. Nice and simple. Pretty much all seemingly one or two shots, the entire thing, but it works. I don't think you necessarily need the most compl complicated, convoluted videos these days. I think they just need to have a central point and theme, uh, and Shensia most definitely does that. Um, she looks great as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Shensia, Die For You. If there are any more tracks in the sort of dance or world you'd be keen for me to check out, people, do make sure you are getting involved and letting me know in the comment section down below. I like this one. Um, I feel this is. I feel Shensi is always quite a good bridge because I know she expands beyond dancehall. I know she had the period uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, when she was really, really pushing into a much more kind of American hip hop centric space, um, similar, I suppose, to what Burner Boy's done um, in a lot of ways. But now she's sort of gone back to a more sort of classic dancehall uh, approach, and I think it does work for. Her. I think this is def very much the zone that she is best in. Um, and yeah, very keen to see your thoughts. So do get involved in the comment section down below. As always, as well, if you are new to the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well uh making sure that you are leaving a like leaving a comment and all that good stuff we've just uh we're rapidly approaching 94,000 subscribers so please do make sure you are getting involved we're trying to hit 100k this year that's it from me though hopefully we have enjoyed and we shall see you all next time have a fantastic rest of your day and peace but the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Club Camp TV. Stay locked. Welcome to Cubs Clubhouse, live on Brighton's premier platform for new music. Platform B.